talking about did you press the button is it working yeah you already started oh good 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 hi there folks <laughs> what, what are you what, talking about I, I, well what, what do you mean what am i talking about <laughs> well, i mean besides that seeing well um i joseph Green Pajak, the theme park evaluator here along with phil Pajak. um i don't know if you can see him because he's behind the camera Okay, I guess you can't because he's behind the camera, huh? <laughs> I'm good at this, aren't I? I don't know, am I? Well, anyways, we're on our way to Six Flags over Mid-America. But firstly, the Frontenac Hilton thing. What is it called? Is it the Hilton Frontenac? What? It is a Hilton, yes. St. Louis Frontenac. That's right. It's going to be a pretty epic place, very posh. Posh? How do you pronounce that word? Is it posh? What, what are we on though, Joe? We're on our... We're on our 2013 Six Flags theme park evaluator trip thing. Pretty much it's the Paycheck Brothers trip vacation. It's gonna be great. I don't know what you're wanting <laughs> this. <laughs> do you know what I'm supposed to be saying? Because I don't know what I'm supposed to be saying. <laughs> Could have just kept it as simple as this is another episode of the glorious theme park evaluator with your name Joseph Gregory Pajak and my name Philip Pajak and we're heading back to St. Louis for another glorious trip so hopefully this will be a good time and it's definitely uh, going to be a great time we're having a little bit of sun in our way here if you can see yeah. that god it hurts <laughs> oh. <laughs> But we're going straight on down good old Highway 55 and 70. And we're getting pretty close to St. Louis. We're only about another six and a half miles out. It's, I think, a pretty lovely area, except for the blasted sun in my eyes. Luckily, the sun's behind trees right now, so hopefully I can see again in about a few minutes. And there it is. Wow. <laughs> but sadly, due to the government shutting down the city, and by the city, uh, we actually mean the National Monuments. Won't be able to do the St. Louis Arch. Nope. So please remember, people, go and see the Theme Park Evaluator Expanded Episode 2. Um, because that's going to feature the Gateway to the West. But uh, sadly, we won't be able to do another version of that with a little bit more in-depth gateway action. We didn't get to the museum on the inside last time. Which kind of sucks because we wanted to do that this year. Granted, 
who knows, we can always hope for a miracle that the government will figure something out, get it, well, to be back open, and hopefully we can hit it on the back end of our trip. That is very true. And good construction. That's great. Well, hopefully with this construction, I don't lose my mirror again. Yeah. See how he got his mirror fixed, people? And you can actually see me in the mirror. Yes, you can. Holy <laughs> cow. That's a nice reflection, Phil. How do you do that? Magic. Ah, magic is great. I, I love magic. Ah. And then he also got his fuel gauge fixed, so you don't have to worry about that either. No. I'm like, well, lots of times when the gas got emptied. It's happened. I don't know how it happened, but it happened where it just empties. It says that it's at, you know, a third of a tank full, and it's empty. It wasn't fair. Oh, here, here, have some light. That didn't help, did that? <laughs> no, but it's being quite accurate now, so these are welcome repairs to the car, that's for sure. Very welcome repairs. So far, I've been very happy with it. And we still have about another four miles to St. Louis. And uh, off in the distance, I don't know if uh, Phil can find it, but uh, no, the tower just went, the archway just went behind the trees again. Nuts. <laughs> but it really is a beautiful site. If you haven't been to St. Louis, I would suggest going there just for the arch, if not anything else. It really is sad that you can't get into there right now. But there's going to be lots and lots of fun that is going to be happening in this lovely episode of the Theme Park Evaluator. Mainly, Six Flags over Mid-America. Fright Fest 2013. It's going to be a blast. Isn't that right? Oh, it should be a blast. Especially Sky Screamer. That's correct. This year, unlike years previously, they have reversed the seats, going up 240 feet, twirling around at 40 miles per hour backwards. Oh gosh. For people like me, with acrophobia, that's not going to be too pleasant of a thing. But it's certainly going to be scary, and that's what you go for. You go for scary, you go for exciting. And there's no way that you can't have a scary and exciting experience if you have acrophobia and you go on the sky screen. Uh, I just love that, what is that, a silhouette? I'm not entirely sure of the terminology. Thank you very much, Beavis and Butthead. We will um, definitely not go to the right. And hopefully this time we will also not get sidetracked. Like uh, last year where we accidentally got off on the wrong exit and went to, what is it, Cardinal Stadium? Yes. That was what happened last year, but this year, hey, we can have a whole bunch of new screw-ups. You'd never know. And with Joe driving, anything is possible. Yes, and uh, especially with how Phil just happens to be using the camera right now, taping all of my traffic violations. So far, I don't think I've had any this episode. We should come up with a website for that. Traffic violations? For you. Yeah. And then we can just post them every day. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> I think that the police would love to see that. I would love to see that. <laughs> I, I don't think that's a good idea. And ooh, everybody's favorite size for uh, Johnny Brocks. Oh yeah. Let me see if I can get a little bit close on that. <laughs> Locally world famous, I love it. Yes. Last year we saw those signs all over the place and it just we couldn't avoid going to see it because it was smart 
advertising. It really was. I mean, we kept seeing really weird signs like "best store in the galaxy." <laughs> look at look at that arch. I mean, it's just a beautiful sight. It really is, Bill. And um, I'm hoping that we can hit it on the back end, but um, I just don't know. Eight hundred yards. What's that, guys? Uh, stay to the left, dude. You're gonna get lost. Oh yeah. Okay, so and um, then. Yes. Stay in the left lane, button launch. Oh yeah, I'm sorry about that. Okay. Uh, stay to the hey, left, hey. dude. You're gonna get lost. Oh yeah. <sighs> Those guys are really insultive. Or insulting, aren't they? Oh yeah. Is this in a lane? Am I in a lane? <laughs> You're in a lane, bro. Traffic girl. violations. Uh, coming up, dude. Stay to the left. <laughs> Don't go to the right. That sucks. Okay, good, good, good. We're on the correct thing. That's a good um, alternate transportation that you got going on. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Phil tried out this camera angle last year and it was spectacular. I truly enjoyed it. Mainly because it kind of gives you that. Uh, front of the car feeling. It's like you were literally pinned directly on top of the hood. You know, that might not be a very fun idea, actually. Probably very scary. Especially with me, you know, driving the vehicle. Okay, with anybody driving the vehicle, it would probably be really scary. 